Hi, Alan Levine. Got my blues harp. Got my friend Brian Alexander. Or Brian Alexander. My Brian Jackson. Get my Brian's mixed up. Uh, he recorded a uh, video lesson for me, and I'm gonna try to follow along here. See if I can uh, get this whole recording while playing and YouTube going. So, take it away, Brian. Bond's video before, so I hope this works. Uh, and my harmonica is in C, and I think mine's in. Mine's in uh, A. My uh, little Bob Dylan contraptions at school, so I don't know if I can help there. But first things first. First things first. What you want to try and do is make sure that you blow into only one hole at a time. One hole. So I don't know. You can bind it with your tongue generally, and then try and concentrate your breathing to make one note. That's how you get the, the sort of See, he makes it easy. Okay, one note. Getting that one hole is hard. That's gonna be hard for me. Can do it on the first hole. Second hole. I'm aiming for the one hole. All right. What's next, Brian? Flares when you're going up and down the scale. If you add two together, then you get or the chord. But basically, um, all right, so two together make a chord. I think I can do that. Make those wailing, crying sounds all day long. If you're trying to play along with someone that playing on the right key, you almost can't play a wrong note. Almost uh, a wrong the way note. the scale works, it's kind of, I imagine it a little bit like um, piano keys. So the, if the white keys are ones you blow in on, the black keys are the ones you inhale for. So. Again, people who are really good musicians make it look so easy, but that's why I'm practicing. I can wail on that low one. All right, Brian, so uh, that's my first little bit, but i am also um, been doing a little bit of Googling, and uh, there is this uh, harmonicalessons.com site. you got to pay for it, but they do um, they do have a couple of free sections, and the one I'm looking is the, the breathing, and this is uh, interesting. So um, correct breathing for the harmonica means not sucking and not blowing in the harmonica. Well, I certainly suck and blow. Sucking and blow occurs with your lips and at the front of the mouth. This is the most instinctive method of getting air through the harmonica, but is not correct. Put the harmonica as far into your mouth while maintaining single notes. So um, the further you put the harmonica into your mouth without losing the single note, the better. This will allow you to bypass the sucking mechanism. Try making a ha sound for every exhale, blow note, and every inhale, draw note that you play. This applies to the whistle and tongue blocking methods of playing single notes, whatever that is. The best tone, volume, and power are derived almost exclusively from correct breathing technique on the harmonica. And this is good, they even have an audio example. The following illustrates correct breathing technique versus incorrect breathing technique. You'll notice the first sound is loud and full, and the second is softer and has a thin sound.
Let's hear this. Incorrect. That's incorrect. The first correct sound, the harmonica is as far into my mouth as I can get it and still maintain a single note. The second, I'm mostly pushing and pulling the air with my lips. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so basically you're not blowing air through it you're breathing air in and out if that's what i get from it i need to practice that single note thing more that's uh that's gonna be the hard part but only uh gonna be done by practice so uh, brian if you throw me another one uh, just some more clues on, on how to get better at blowing that single note because i seem to be stumbling there that's it that's uh is that my first lesson or my second? I don't know, but post it soon. Back with more Blues Harp later. Bye.